Watch you guys, if you like your mini PCs, then the Windows 10 fanless mini PC stick from Azul might be something you're interested in. It's called Access 4, it's their brand new release. So let's take a look at some of the specifications. It's got the new Gemini Lake processor on there. Also has Windows 10 Pro, but it can run Linux as well. It's got four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Storage is 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes versions. Wi-Fi is uh, the dual band Wi-Fi, which is your AC3165. GPU is a HD600, one gigabit ethernet. Also has a bunch of different ports, which we'll go through in a second. You can extend that storage up to another 512 gigabytes as SD card storage. And again, all in all, it's a pretty decent bit of kit. This is everything you're going to get inside the box to get up and running. You've got your user manual here, which will show you all the instructions on how to set this up. It is pretty self-explanatory, but depending on what you're trying to do with it, as long as you've got a monitor screen here, you can use this PC pretty much anywhere, really, on holiday or some sort of uh, media center or something like that. So you've got your plug here, which uh, can be converted into a UK plug. This is your power uh, lead, which is going to actually power the unit as well. And uh, that is the plug there. So we also got our extension, which is our HDMI extension cable, just in case uh, the HDMI is in a, a weird angle. You can actually use the extension cable to uh, use that as well. As you can see here, we've got the device itself with the Wi-Fi antenna here. The unit is very, very small indeed. So looking on this side of the device, we've got our power button here. We've got the power port where your power adapter goes into. We've got that USB port here. And also we've got a micro SD card slot on there and the antenna for our Wi-Fi. This is the HDMI uh, adapter plug here. On this side here, we do have the type C connection here, which is very useful because that gives you access to a lot of other options with the Type-C USB port here. So we also have our Kensington lock, also our headphones and our gigabit ethernet port. Now I've got this set up as you can see here, but you can use other things. So I've got my uh, keyboard and mouse here, I've got the monitor plugged in here. You can put ethernet cable in or Wi-Fi, and I've also got the HDMI cable plugged into a monitor screen. So this is what you can expect to see once you've got it all working. Once you fire this up, you will need to uh, just quickly install and set up Windows. It's very simple and easy to do. And this means you can set it up to your own language and go through all the settings on the screen and basically set up your version of Windows. Once that's done, you're really ready to use the actual device. So let's take a look at it here. It does play 4K content, no problem whatsoever. So you can see we've got buttery smooth playback, no jerkiness whatsoever. So it can handle 4K content, no problem whatsoever, which is very useful if people want to create their own little media system. You can plug this into your TV and you've got plenty of storage built in with a micro SD card. And if you bought the 128 gigabyte version, you would have a total of 640 gigabytes. That's a fair bit of space for such a small little device. And you can also plug in some external uh, devices to those ports that you've got on the device itself, which gives you more storage or access to other devices like webcams and other things like that. So depending on what you're trying to do with this device, it's got plenty of uses. You can even use it portably. You can take it away on holiday with you because it's so small, we could easily pack this into your suitcase. As long as you've got some sort of source to plug it into, like a monitor, then you will be able to use this as a full-blown computer, which is very useful if you're restricted on weight and you don't want to take big, heavy laptops with you and stuff like that. So depending on what you're actually looking to use it for, it's got many uses. Now, of course, it also plays uh, small types of games which you can get from the Windows Store and things like that. So depending on what type of games it is, it will play those, as I'll show you in a second. So let me just quickly run Cinebench here. I'm not expecting this to light up the scoreboards with fantastic uh, Cinebench results, but I'll show you exactly what scores you can expect with this device. And you can see we've got 549 points, which isn't going to break any records, but it's not designed to do that. You can see here it can handle small little games like this which you can download for free on the Windows 
uh, 10 store now it doesn't have the best graphics chip in the world so you're going to get the odd stutter here and there it wasn't really designed for uh, gaming in mind but you might get the odd jump and a skip here and there because of the built-in graphics isn't the best but you can play some mild low-end games on here now depending on what you're buying this for if you're looking for conference calls portability maybe you're looking for a streaming device or something like that then this little mini pc is really really nice for that type of thing it's not going to be able to run plex media server on here and become your server because i don't think it's powerful enough and you may get some problems there but if you're connecting to other devices from here and streaming from other devices you'll be able to do that no problems at all it, it can handle 4k video as you can see here so pretty decent all-round little device and that's the azul access 4. i'll leave all the links in the video description if you are interested I think what will be interesting is to install Linux on here and see how it performs with Linux because Linux is a little bit more lightweight to use than Windows 10 and we'll see how it performs with Linux as well. With that said, you can choose whatever you want to do with it. If you want some sort of lightweight computer that you can use for just general use, then something like this will be useful. Maybe streaming media, it's very useful for that. My name has been Brian from briantechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.